hello friends now we will see the sampling theorem for the bandpass signal now here statement of this one that a bandpass signal x of t having a maximum bandwidth of 2 w hertz can be completely represented in its sample form and recovered back from the sample form if it is sampled at a rate which is at least twice the maximum bandwidth that means mathematically we can say that fs should be greater than or equal to 2 times w this is the liquid criteria for the sampling now let us see how the sampling of the bandpass signal carried out now x of t is nothing but our information signal which is coupled to two multiplier one multiplier cos of 2 pi fct is nothing but our carrier it is applied whereas to the other multiplier separate second carrier that is sine of 2 pi fct it is applied now these are the quadrature carrier signal and coupled to the low pass filter now here i and q signal of relative cos and the sine are generated x i of t and this sampling switch s1 and s2 it is exactly sam taking a sample that 2 w sample per second that means the output here x i n time tier now n is the reverse number of sample taken over a time t s divided by t now here the output signal will get at, that is x of t equal to x1 of t cos of x i of t cos of 2 pi f c t minus x q of t sin of 2 pi f c t so this is a sampled one now let us see the operation the sampling theorem for bandwidth signal that is a transfer function it is given the spectrum of the signal it is spread from minus w to w so overall bandwidth it is 2w now here fc it is greater than that of the w hence we can write fc minus w greater than 0 so we have the bandwidth signal at the bandwidth signal so here certain band gap it is provided so with respect to the reference minus fc is the central frequency of the one signal whereas the fc is the central frequency of the another one now these are the quadrature signal hence if we see the combined output of that x of f x i of f and x q of f then we find that the it is spread from minus w to w so spectrum of in phase and quadrature component now the reconstruction of this signal how we can recover back our original information signal with the help of this bandpass signal so x i times n time ts that is nothing but the sampling rate and x q n time ts both are coupled to a reconstruction filter where the reconstruction filter is nothing but acting like a low pass filter so x1 of t we obtained at the output of this x i of t and x q of t i and q what is the signal and then again we are applying it to the quadrature carrier cos of 2 pi city and sine of 2 pi city and finally the two signals are added across this adder and we will get the original information signal x of t in this way we can apply the sampling theorem for the bandpass signal thank you for watching